Good afternoon. I decided today to make a video because of the video I made yesterday. And <clears throat> I got one person asking me a very legitimate question. I was really angry and agitated when I first read it because I thought, how dare you dismiss my abilities? And then I thought, wait a minute, I am coming from a different aspect of this than most of you are. So this is for Simon. Simon, there are things on me that were never closed. There are things that are on me that are very closed. He asked me, he said, why are you speculating about what's going on in the media? And the first thing I'm gonna say is, when somebody asks me to look at something, I don't think about it, I just go do it. If something is happening in the media and it warrants to be looked at, I will go do it. When I do this remote viewing, I literally take myself out of where I am and put myself there in a moment with a thought, and I am there. Here's the pluses and the minuses to this. If it's going to impact me on a level that it will psychically damage me to where I can't function. I have blocks put in place. I don't know if I put those blocks in place or if something has put those blocks in place. So he asked me, why don't you stop speculating on who these people are and just name them? And I thought, you know, that's, I would really love to do this. First off, if I saw these people their entire face, if it was allowed. I would hunt them down to the end of days and they would never have a resemblance of life anymore and it would cost me my own life, which that's another story because I would do it. And because I would do it, it's blocked from me. Everyone here has a role to play. My role isn't to be a policeman and I put this in his comment. I am not to go out there and hand arrest these people, get the DNA, get the fingerprints, get the documentation on them. I am here but to let you know what is going on. I would love to not be blocked on these aspects, but I know it would be my own detriment and undoing because it would be nothing I wouldn't do. I would sell and sacrifice everything I had to get to these people and I would literally stop them myself. And if it meant taking their life I would do it because I've already weighed and measured them and they're not worth saving. They're not worth saving. It's a complete wash when it comes to them. So when I go and I leave this and go there, wherever there is, I can smell, I can taste, I can hear to a degree. I can see to a degree. I see forms, beings. I see their energies. I don't know if you can box it, quantify it. I don't even know how you would begin to do this stuff. I'm going to give you an example. I just discovered geocaching because one day I was walking in the woods and I was talking to my daughter on the phone, the cell phone. And I got off, and as soon as I got off, I heard, stop, look over there, look at that rock, go down into the woods and move the rock. So I did, I got off the trail, I went down and I lifted up, the, it, the rock was about this big, and I lifted it up because it was by a tree. And I found a container, and then I opened it up and I read it and it was a log, and it had people that wrote in there and said, this is not on the map. This is a bonus if you can find it. And I'm like, what is this all about? And then inside it said geocaching. And I'm like, oh, okay. So the other day I was talking to Zanfast and I was walking in a whole different part of different woods. And I started, I was talking to him and we were talking about the scenario of what's going on in our world. And all of a sudden I heard, stop, look at the rock. What's wrong with it? Move the rock on the rock. And it was a huge piece of the mountain. 
And I walked over and I'm like, this doesn't quite fit. And I moved it and there was another geocaching. I am being tested to what's coming in, if I can hear and be directed to whatever. How do you quantify this? How do I say, okay, this is what happened and this is what happened, but I have no way of documenting it. You either believe me or you don't. Stuff happens and we don't have the ability to quantify it. So there you go. I see what I see. I hear what I hear. I smell what I smell. I taste what I taste when I go to these places that I remote view. I would love to give you solid proof that, okay, this person, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, did A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and here's the proof. I'm blocked from it. And I know it's so that I literally would be crucified. I literally would be shot to death. I literally would be murdered on the spot because the moment I can identify you, I'm coming for you. Nothing would stop me. And that's why I can't do it because I'm needed here to do this. I'm not trained in tacticals. I'm not a military person, but I can do this. This is the role I'll play and this is what I'll do. So I just wanted to let you know, I finally cut off the energy of what was coming into me for the last couple of days with the baby and the torture and the people that are Jack the Ripper. I know it's happening every minute of every day. Can I prove it? I don't have to. I know it in here. I felt that I was there. It happened. Whether you believe it, that's on you. We can all walk around, see no evil, say no evil, hear no evil, until you can prove it. Look at the world you're in and tell me if even a year ago you would believe this was your world if somebody told you about it. Where we would all be separated six feet from each other, we would all be muzzled, and we would all be suffocating under those muzzles. And by the day and day, as it goes by, every freedom and liberty has been stolen from us. And they want it to even get worse. How do you quantify that? So I'm not doing this video to slap Simon. Simon has a valid point. And I don't know what to say about it. It is what it is. And sometimes <sighs> science needs to catch up to what this reality really is. So there you go. Um, thank you for everyone who was concerned about me. I'm concerned for you also, and I'm wishing you all a great day, and raise those vibrations, and we'll try to get through this. All right, everybody have a great day. Bye.